Okay, Suck Me Well is a game which is deterministic and social. It's played with two people, very much like Snakes and Ladders is, deterministic and social. Um, by deterministic, I mean that once you know the initial state, then you can predict all the possible outcomes. Therefore, it's totally dependent on luck, which sets up the initial state, as opposed to a game of strategy, such as chess or checkers to a degree. Suck me well, which is actually like a G derivative or variation or precursor to Uno, is played with a standard set of 52 playing cards, which is 4 suits, 13 ranks. And apparently playing cards are actually derived from tarot cards, but that's another story. Um, right. Enough about general stuff. Let's show you how a game of something well is played. So first thing you do, you take a deck and you shuffle it. This randomizes the cards and thus produces an initial state which the players are unaware of. So for the players, luck is determining whether they win or lose. And that's where the excitement comes from. You don't actually know what you have in your hand when you play this game. You start out by dividing the deck in half. So say a player one is over here and player two is over here. Yeah, so I'd be sitting down facing someone and somebody would deal out the cards. One for you, one for me, that sort of thing. Or you could go like two for you and two for me if you want to get fancy. Deal from the bottom of the deck and stuff like that. But in the computer program, it's always dealt from the top of the deck and always one for you, one for me. So I mean, well, it's probably chosen for this because it's deterministic, so you don't have to consider the user's input because the user doesn't really make any choices. When you say user, user, customer, it's a very bad game to make into a computer game if you want people to play it because watching a computer play a game by itself isn't fun. For a computer game, you need something which takes the user's input which may or may not depend on randomization, but which also allows for social interaction. Card games, that type of social interaction tends to be face to face. You need to see somebody's expression, hear them say something. So it would be a good sort of game to include with, say, a webcam software, but not a good sort of game to include with productivity software or anything like that, where people are not seeing other people are not being social. Anyhow, let's say that player one starts. I play an ace. Now there's actually a table, which you probably can't see on webcam, but I'll read it out. If there's a face card, which would be an ace, jack, queen, or king, then you start a war when you play it. And the opponent, who I've called the defender, then has to defend themselves by responding by the amount of cards demanded by the face card. So you're saying how much does the ace, ace demand? Well, according to the table, the ace demands 5, a king demands 4, a queen demands 3, a jack demands 2. Those are the only face cards. So, five, one, two, aha! But now I have conquered the war by playing the queen and demanding three. So, player one now plays three. One, two, three. After this, the spec isn't clear as to whether it's player one's turn or player two turn. Player's two turn. However, since the aim is to drain the opponent of all of their cards, I assume that what happens after this is that I take the cards, put them to the bottom of my deck, and I play again. I have to remember, did I actually implement this in the game? I don't really recall. I've been working much too hard. Jimmy or Crow claims that studying gives you cancer. Well, if, if cancer is a metabolic disease and stuff, then certainly Sitting down sedentary a lot and not really using my body would tend to offset my metabolism. But I'm eating nuts, which is a cure for cancer, according to that two-part video that I watched. I'll link to both of them in my posting. Yeah. Anyhow. They... They don't actually say that nuts are the cure for cancer. They say that nuts are a key ingredient that help restore the metabolism. In fact, some particular type of nuts and they have, they call it vitamin K17, the active ingredient in these nuts. Of course, the people could be nuts, but people could be nuts in general for believing anything that they read or hear anywhere. 
Anyhow, you should be able to get an idea of how the gameplay goes now. It looks really boring and it is by yourself. This isn't a solitaire game, this is a very social game. Because at times like this I'd be saying, Aha, I won. And this other person now whose deck is shrinking will be saying, Oh, I wish I'd get an ace or something. Or you could be talking about life or whatever. I used to play this with my father. See, at this point you'll be saying, Aha, give me five cards. <laughs> I'd be like, Haha, give me two cards. And yeah. So it will go on. So this game is like social. But it's not a good game to actually play with somebody else, really. Because. I mean, over a computer. I guess you could though, but it's not fun. Because you don't really make any choices, you know? In real life, you have to move the cards. So, in real life, since you have to move the cards anyway, you might as well make moving the cards interesting. It's like how if you're painting or something, you find something to do that you sing or something. But I mean, if you have a computer painting, who played the queen? I played the queen. Player two played the queen, so player one has to then wait until right. Um, what was I saying? Now, if I put some personality to the an animation to the game, then it might be interesting to watch for a while because it will be like an active screensaver, and. You could probably play a bets on who would win. Maybe try different ways to start the deck. I don't know. Which would be cheating, but whatever. Animating it will at least make it as interesting as a screensaver. One. Aha! I've saved. See? Just now I only had two cards left. The queen now means that the opponent has to draw three. So that actually saved me. I may actually come back now. See? I've come back. So the game can keep going back and forth like that for a long time because you know it's all random. Hmm. Right. Jack. How much for a jack? Two. Aha, queen. Three for the queen. Aha, king. Four aha, king. Aha! Okay, so maybe this could even be fun by yourself if you're a little bit schizophrenic or like splitting yourself into personalities. But, um, yeah, who played that queen? It was, yeah, player one. So you see, player one is coming back. Player one has gone from having like two cards facing uh, an ace, it was. Well, whatever. The point is, they would have lost if not for the second last grass being card being a queen. So now you see player 1 is, I don't know how many cards these are, but I'll count them quickly. 2, 4, and 2. 22 out of 52, which is almost a half because 26 is half of 52. So I'm going to stop now though because, you know, this isn't really all that much fun for me. But now you know how to play the game of Suck Me Well. And you also know the advantages and disadvantages of the game when it's implemented in a physical medium, such as play, playing cards, when it's implemented as an independent game, which is technically a zero-player game, or what I would call a spectator sport or observer's game, and how you could possibly make it fun, like if you were playing it over a web camera or something, or if you were watching it where you actually scripted some sort of responses to make the, the um, robots playing it seem interesting. Yeah. So, that's that. It's a good social game for two people. But it requires absolutely no strategy. So that could be a good thing because you're playing against somebody who's much more skilled than you, like a parent or something. It's challenge them to game you know, suck me well because then you know it's totally by luck. And you have... Well, I guess it depends on how well you shuffle the deck or how well... I don't know. You could probably start the deck. But the point is that I never tried stacking that for seven well, it's too complicated. What is my point? My point is that this is a fun game for two people and I'm rambling on, so I'm gonna stop now.